chapter 11 verses 1 to 4. And it came to pass that he was in a certain place praying. And when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Very important. And this is the way I like to look at this. That John, of course, preceded Jesus. So he had a good following. He had, a, he was a good example, profound example. So his disciples, his followers knew how to pray. And I'm now interpreting that they knew how to behave as well. They knew how to behave properly. Because this is what prayer is about. It teaches us how to be maintain our composure before God. How to put into practice morals, values, principles. But that didn't happen among the disciples, I recall. Right? They started to fight James and John, Peter, uh, Judas. The Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, grievously to be handed over. And they say, hey, God, be glad. Because if he dared, why who will take over? Is it me? Is it you? Let us... Instead of trying to comprehend the message. So they now say, Master, teach us to pray as John taught. We want to have that kind of disposition as John's disciples have. We don't want to be fighting and quarreling. We're doing that too often. We want to maintain that composure. So they were acutely aware that the disciples of John had the edge. They were a bit better disposed. And Jesus said, okay, when you pray, say this, Father, may your name be held holy, may your kingdom come. Give us our daily bread. And in verse 4, forgive us our sins as we forgive those. So that, that asking for daily bread, begging and wanting and all those things, but at the heart of that, forgive us our sins so that we can forgive others their, their sins and we move on and pardon everyone.